Okay, so this will go over the actions that are uh, included in the pack. Um, if you need to bring that into Photoshop, you can either double click on the actions file or in actions, click on the flyout window and just go to load actions and it'll bring this into your actions. And you'll have this folder and what this folder does, um, it just houses all the actions that are in this um, set. And so you can rename this if you need to. If not, feel free to keep it. <clears throat> so first we'll just go down the list and I'll just explain how these things work. So if you see, I have this template set up and built. Um, I have, we have three working files here. So these are actual uh, files that I'm, I'll adjust, that I've adjusted. And each one of these live on each part of these mockups. So if I zoom out, you can see I have two phones. I have four phones um, with two different designs on them. And I have um, these two avatars that reflect each template on an you know, you have one here, 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 here. And this header that is represented on these four. And so for, uh, in order to set this up, what is I did is I turned on generate. So file, generate, turn on image assets. What that does is it creates a folder next to your Photoshop file called whatever that file is, let me dash assets and It'll just export all these files, all right? So JPEG, PNG, JPEG, where is it? PNG here. And this is, you know, with these extensions, that's what it's going to export out as. And so I brought those files back in and placed them in these on these artboards. So I'll show you what update does. So if I make a change to community, all right? spelled it wrong but if I turn that okay for more drastic if I turn off our primary mark you see nothing changes on these two right but if I hit update play you see it changes throughout it right um, and just for time's sake I'm gonna click button mode that way I, all I have to do is click on this and it'll uh, run the action and so again I'll turn the bird back on the primary bird um, and I hit update and you'll see the adjustment being being made there now you can easily do this yourself uh, without the action just right click anywhere and do uh, update modify content just for that uh, layer or just update all modified content and it'll do the same thing so just to prove it to you um, I'll click anywhere uh, update all modified content all right and boom so that just saves a little bit of time um for expand um let's zoom in here and i will select it uh which one is it? header so i'll command click on the item so command click on mac control click on windows and you see i have a selection here if i click expand it expands the selection by one pixel if i do it again another one um, again, another. So expand 10 just expands it by 10 pixels. And you can use this when you inverse your selection. So uh, Command Shift I on Mac and Control Shift um, I on Windows. And so see if I click it, it contracts it by 10 or contract by one. Again, you can do this without the um, action. C command click, Control click come up to select, modify, contract, if you wanna go outwards. And this is the amount you wanna do it by. So you can choose whatever you want. Uh, so that saves me time, instead of having to keep going back into the selection menu if I need to um, adjust my selection. Uh, so that's expand. Trim, uh, we'll have to go into another file just to show you what this does. Um, so this is an artboard. I'm going to get rid of the artboard, board, ungroup artboards. And if you look, my canvas 
um, has all this empty space. And I only want my canvas to um, uh, wrap my art, my visible art. So I want to shrink this to this actual art. And so that's what it does. So if I hit trim, you can see all that empty, empty space just collapsed down into the visible area of the art. Again, you can do this, I'll undo, by going to image, trim, make sure these are all selected, and then hit OK. So again, it saves me time with one button. I don't have to do all that. Uh, crop mask. So let's say you have a bunch of images that you, you know, let's say you're done with your project and you're ready to just finalize this file. Um, you can see I have, you know, this is a square, pretty much a square canvas, but this is a very horizontal uh, image. And I know I don't need all that. And so what I'm gonna, what I want is just to delete everything outside of this canvas. Select the area, hit crop mask, select my layer, and you can see that it's now it has everything outside that square uh, canvas has been deleted. And so this is on a per ba per layer. Um, basis that it'll happen. So again, if I just make this bigger, I mean, actually you can see now that it um, contains only the uh, canvas size. So again, you can see where my bounds is. My bound is for the layer. If I click crop mask, now I can see my uh, bounds is actually the size of the canvas. Um, for adjustment, um, if I select that, Actually, I select my layer and hit adjust because it's going to clip to that layer. This creates a uh, filled solid raster layer uh, at 50% gray, and it applies the overlay blending mode to it. And so what that allows you to do is create um, a layer for you to use your dodge and burn, all right? And if you need to make another one so you don't draw on top of that other one, just click it again. And I'll just go to my burn. And yeah, so that's why I made that. So I can create uh, you know, fast adjustment layers uh, for my dodge and burns. Um, Next, we have Optimize, and what Optimize does, I'll go back to my other file. Um, so I have empty layers, I have linked layers, and I have CC linked layers in my library. And so what I wanna do um, is get rid of this because my file is done, uh, I'm ready to just move on and clean up the file um, and archive this project file. So I'll hit Optimize, and you'll see it turned all my linked layers and CC link layers into smart objects. And it got rid of all my empty layers. And getting rid of the empty layers at the same thing that empty nest does. So I'll just go back and you can see I have empty layers. If I hit empty nest, get rid of all my empty layers. Um, and then once it comes for you to, you know, maybe print this project, um, that's what PDF comes into play. And so it doesn't really matter what color mode you're in. This will convert it to the right color space. So right now I'm in RGB. If I hit PDF, it'll open up the PDF dialog box for you to save it. And it does a save as. So all you have to do is hit uh, change the file name to whatever you need. Um, it already saves it to Photoshop PDF. And then just hit save. It'll bring up the Photoshop PDF dialog box for you to choose whatever... Um, export settings you need um, and then just hit save hit continue um, and you're good to go um, now a word of caution you might want to save your file first this is what I always do and then I'll export as PDF uh, just in case whatever happens my, messes up my my file my save file so once I do this you see it's back in CMYK I'll just hit I'll close this and hit cancel because I already saved it prior to executing this script and that's it. That's all we have. Those are all the actions um, that I've included here. If you have any other questions, please feel free to let me know. Thank you.